Hey guys, hope the new year's turning well for you guys. Um, an update uh, about something that I didn't think I would get to start the new year with, but admittedly I'm actually quite behind on this. This update came out two weeks ago, but I didn't even notice in my email stream. I'm, I'm back at work now, so my email's just flooded. We have an update about the undergrads movie. Just when you thought there was nothing going on, Pete Williams started the year with an update about what they've been up to, and there has been some significant progress. Now this was shared on the Kickstarter page which supported eons back now uh, I still have a bunch of the posters and everything else that I got from it all on the wall and admittedly there's something that he talks about in this update that I kind of really regret having not participated in so I'm gonna read it off and talk about uh, kind of what's coming and then just uh, you know kind of give us some overlay on what's coming happy New Year's everyone I once again throw myself on the sword for not doing a better job of providing updates this past year but don't let the radio silence fool you we've actually accomplished a massive amount of work on the movie over the past 12 months. The epic scope of our script has required a ton of new designs to be generated, and in 2001, our small but dedicated team managed to crank out nearly all of them. And so what he shows here is 10 new locations and 150 props. Uh, right off the bat, the knight helmet is kind of interesting to me. Uh, the laptop thankfully does not actually give away the age of the film. The only thing that does here, actually I will admit, is the segue. I don't know how they're going to kind of keep to the timeline, especially when you see the flip phone. The cell phone is, I would almost say, is age accurate to the time of when the show was, because the show was in the peak 2000. That's kind of cool to see that. And then there's over 50 character designs, and some of these look like kind of updated versions of what we are used to. Um, the fact that there's a little alien in the corner there is pretty funny. The guy on the very far left looks like a different version of Rocco, like a Rocco brother, and that also can be completely contrast with the guy on the far right who has Oh, he has socks and sandals. Or are those Crocs? Those look like socks and sandals. Then you got a different assortment of other characters here, so that's kind of cool. And then 70 costume changes for the main cast. Uh, love Nitz in the Indiana Jones outfit. Absolutely love it. Cowl is incredibly familiar. Rocco is Evil Knievel. That's great. Uh, I like the Jess's outfits. Of course. Uh, Nitz is also getting a Han Solo one. The fact that Cal is Legolas is hilarious. I don't know who the guy in the paintball outfit is, though. I don't know. I kind of find it interesting. There's not a lot of Rocco ideas, um, so that, that's interesting. But continuing on with uh, Pete's update, and we're nearing completion on designing all the background characters based on your on you generous backers who pledged to one of the $500 rewards. But the most exciting thing I have to share is that the storyboarding for the movie has officially begun. And this is big, this is actually quite important because storyboarding, especially for a film like this, just basic animation knowledge, you have to get these things done before anything else gets done. So the fact that he's giving us this, there's durations, scene numbers, all of these panel works that's great to see and then apparently in the coming weeks i'll be recording a rough uh, scratch track of all the voices and once the storyboards are complete we'll be cutting together an anim animatronic and an animatic to see how the pacing of the movie is working again i can't thank you all enough for your continued patience and support the next few months are shaping up to be really exciting as everything starts coming together Wishing you all the best of 2020. This is awesome. I'm really happy to see that something is coming together from this. This looks like it's going to be something. I, I'm happy that we actually have some forward progress because it has been a little bit quiet for the last while. But admittedly, this project unfortunately started at probably one of the worst times. It got the money, got the funding, and obviously it had to start getting through the legal stuff. And then uh, COVID hit and that definitely prevented a lot of things from coming together. Thankfully, as we've seen, a lot of big corporations can figure out how to work it in with the idea of uh, working online. But when you are a smaller team and it kind of, I don't even know how Pete is putting together like kind of the salary or compensation or whatever it would be for the people who are working on this. I don't know, but I imagine that's a struggle. So I'm happy that we are actually seeing something from this. I'm very, very excited. 
I cannot wait to see what he comes up with. Here's hoping that things come a little bit faster. I know I've said that before in the past, but it's really cool. And this kind of corresponds as well with what um, was the last update video I did when he was talking about looking for animators. So there is some forward progress. Pete has not forgotten about it and he hasn't run away with money like I know a lot of other Kickstarters did because back when this started, 1,200 of us uh, pledged $145,000 to help put the project together. Now, admittedly, that is definitely not enough to make this film because they are going to have to kind of do some changes and take some risks, but I think this was more so just to get a good copy going so then they could look for investment to help make the rest of the movie. So there is still a long road to go. If anything, uh, I would almost say that realistically we could probably see this thing coming out in 2024 maybe uh 2025 possibly i'm still patient you know what we put the money in we're seeing dividends from it he already delivered all of the rewards now it's all about putting his hockey stick on the ice and just getting it done so anyways that's the little video update i have for you guys if you guys want to check this out uh go to the kickstarter page the undergrads movie kickstarter page and check out the updates for yourself until then guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video you're probably wondering who i am my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural, or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.